theoretical framework connects your research to existing knowledge. The theoretical framework is the core foundation of theory that you will build your research on. In your research, you will examine the research problem, the purpose statement and research questions, to highlight the key variables in your research. Then, you will cite and discuss theories that are related, and which serve as the foundation of the variables, so that the study will be more scientific and easily understood by readers. To write a theoretical framework, First, write your problem statement. About 36 million falls are reported among older adults each year, resulting in more than 32,000 deaths, CDC, 2023. Falls are the sixth leading cause of death in elderly people in the USA in addition, falls are costly not only among Americans aged 65 and older, but also costly to the healthcare system. Falls are a leading cause of disability in the older population. Falls lead to hospitalization and often result in major injuries such as fractures or brain injuries, Huang et al., 2017. Although much progress has been made in understanding risk factors for falls, the fear of falling is an important risk factor that affects older adults. In this descriptive study, fear of falling risk factor will be assessed, moreover, because this factor that contributes to falls is also a risk factor for many other adverse consequences in older adults. Fear of falling can limit activities for older adults and keep them from leaving their homes, however, falls are preventable and do not have to be an inevitable part of aging. Therefore, a balance in mobility program should eliminate the fear of falling and prevent falls in the elderly. Second, write your purpose statement. The purpose of this study is to determine if balance in mobility training conducted over a 12-week period would reduce fear of falling and falls in elderly 65 to 85 years who reside in an independent living facility in Atlanta. Third, write your research questions. Can balance and mobility training reduce fear of falling and fall risk among seniors, aged 65 to 85, in an assisted living facility in Atlanta? Fourth, identify your variables. Fall risk, fear of falling, balance and mobility training. Fifth, Evaluate and explain relevant theories. Compare and contrast different models. Two theories of behavior change, the health belief model, HBM, and the transtheoretical model, TTM, have been widely used to develop strategies to help patients to adopt healthy behaviors and work with their clinicians to improve their health. The HBM focuses on investigating cognitive issues that influence human behavior. The TTM focuses on attitudinal aspects that affect behavior change. Add more detail. Identify the theory that best fits your research. The HBM best fits my research because this theory posits that messages will achieve optimal behavior change if they successfully target perceived barriers, benefits, self-efficacy, and threat. Seniors who want to eliminate fall risk and fear of falling are more likely to participate in balance and mobility training because they can perceive the benefits. Add more detail. Sixth, show how your research fits into the chosen theory or model. The health belief model, HBM, developed in the 1950s by social psychologists Hochbaum, Rosenstock and others, was selected as the most appropriate theoretical framework for this study. This model is used to explain and predict whether a person will perform an action necessary for preventing a specific health condition or not. Key elements of the HBM focus on individual beliefs about health conditions, which predict individual health-related behaviors. The model defines the key factors that influence health behaviors as an individual's perceived threat to sickness or disease, perceived susceptibility, belief of consequence, perceived severity, potential positive benefits of action, perceived benefits and perceived barriers to action, exposure to factors that prompt action, cues to action, and confidence in ability to succeed, self-efficacy. Fear of falling and fall risk in the elderly is preventable, and an important point in preventing the disease is to modify thinking, lifestyle, and daily habits in such a way that improves the quality of life and efficiency of individuals. Therefore, to investigate fear of falling and fall risk preventive behaviors among seniors, it is essential to use models that can modify the affecting behavior. According to HBM, people change their behavior when they understand that the disease is serious. Otherwise, they might not turn to healthy behaviors. 
By carrying out the research, the researcher will test whether a theory holds in a specific context. Use theory as a basis for interpreting the results. Follow these tips and you are sure to choose a good theoretical framework. If you liked this video, then hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.